page 100 the talkative barber long long ago a sultan whose name was shahriyar ruled over a large kingdom his queen was a good storyteller each night she would tell a story to the king she narrated ancient persian and arabic folk stories this is one of the stories from the arabian nights read this story about a man who cannot stop talking in the city of kashgar lived a barber who was a great talker once the sultan called the barber to shave his head the barber started talking non-stop instead of shaving him the sultan got angry when are you going to stop talking and begin to do your work the barber replied you do me an injury by calling me a chatterer for everyone says i am very quiet i have six brothers whom you might call chatterers their names are bakbon bakbaria bakbak alkuz alnashi and shakabak one is humpbacked one is toothless one is half blind one is quite blind one is deaf and the other has a defect in his speech and they are all great talkers but i am the youngest of my family and i am very quiet and sparing with words page 101 give him three pieces of gold the sultan cried losing all patience and send him away i will not be shaved today my master cried the barber it was not i who came to seek you it was you who ordered me to come so i will not quit your house till i have shaved you he then began narrating another story which lasted half an hour stop making your fine speeches and let me go quickly i have an affair of the greatest importance i have to go out at noon said the sultan page 102 when he saw that the sultan was really angry with him the barber said oh master do not be angry i will begin to shave you saying this he washed the sultan's head and began to shave but he had not touched him even four times with the razor when he stopped and said my master you are acting hastily in this matter go on shaving me speak no more ordered the sultan be patient said the barber perhaps you have not considered well what you were going to do i wish you would tell me what this matter of great importance is all about and then i will give you my opinion on it finish shaving at once the sultan exclaimed but instead of doing this the barber left the sultan half shaved to go and see what time it was my patience is exhausted the sultan cried be calm my master and you shall be shaved in a moment said the barber and saying this he continued shaving the sultan but while he was doing this he could not help talking if you could inform me what this important affair is i would give more advice which you might find useful he said the sultan was completely fed up by now and decided to satisfy the barber he told him that he was giving a feast to some friends at noon which was why he was in a hurry to leave when the barber heard the sultan mention a feast he exclaimed that reminds me yesterday i invited four or five friends to come to my house today but i had quite forgotten it and have not made any preparations for them the sultan who was at the mercy of the barber was ready to do anything to be rid of him 
Be quick and finish your work, the Sultan replied, and you shall have all the food that has been prepared for me today. Please show me the food so that I may judge if it is enough for my five friends. I have enough food for you, the Sultan exclaimed. But he ordered that all the food prepared for his feast be brought in. The barber looked over the food and said, This is uh, very good, but uh, I shall want some fruit for the dessert also. The Sultan, in desperation, since his head was half shaved, ordered that the fruits should also be brought in. Page 103 Page 104 the barber left off shaving the sultan to examine each dish separately. This took up half an hour. The sultan stamped his feet impatiently, but the barber did not hurry. At length, however, he again took up the razor, but after a few minutes of work, stopped suddenly and cried. I never knew that you were so generous. New words. Chatterer. Someone who talks a lot. Defect. A fault. Opinion. What a person feels about a person, thing or subject. Exhausted. Tired and fed up. Dessert. A sweet dish served after the main meal. Examine. To look at something very carefully. At length. At a stretch. Page 105. Let's read. 1. How many brothers did the Baba have? 2. Why was the Sultan in a hurry? 3. Why did the Baba take so long to shave the Sultan? 4. Write true or false. 1. The Baba was shaving the Sultan's beard. Blank. 2. The Sultan gave him three gold coins. Blank. 3. The barber refused to leave the Sultan's palace. Blank. 4. There were seven brothers all together in the Sultan's family. Blank. 5. Why did the barber want a lot of food? Let's listen. A lion. A lion emerged from his lair for a short summer cut to his hair. But the barber, he wept, while his customers slept as they waited their turn in the chair. A poem by Joseph G. Francis. Page 106. Let's talk. 1. Did the Sultan enjoy the barber's talk? Why do you say so? 2. Which part of the story did you find the funniest? 3. What are the things the Sultan gave to the barber? 4. Do you think the Sultan was really very generous? Why do you say so? Word Building 1. Study the words in the first column and see the changes in them in the second column. The words in column 2 are the opposites of the words in column 1. Column 1. Important Column 2. Unimportant Column 1. Patient Column 2. Impatient Column 1. Pleasure Column 2. Displeasure Now, write the opposites of the following using un, im, dis. 1. Believe Blank 2. Shaved Blank 3. Perfect Blank 4. Satisfy Blank 5. Polite Blank 6. Respect Blank 7. Pure Blank 8. Expected Blank 9. Obedient Blank Page 107 2. Fill in the blanks by adding un, im or dis to the words given in the box. Tidy. Patient. Kind. Like. Able. Appear. Possible. 
One, the teacher got upset with Rani because her work was blank. Two, the dog was blank to climb the tree to chase the cat. Three, I blank hot milk. I like it cold. Four, it is blank to cross the road during peak traffic hours. Five, the magician waved his magic wand and made the rabbit blank. Six, the passengers became blank when the train was late again. Seven, it is very blank to make fun of another person's weaknesses. Three, notice the highlighted words in the sentence given below. You ordered me to come, so I will not quit your house till I have shaved you. While he was shaving me, he could not stop talking. Now, use the joining words given in the box to fill in the blanks. If, or, till, where, unless, so, while. 1. Please wait with me, blank, the bus arrives. 2. Do you like football? Blank, cricket? 3. My father packed my lunch. Blank, my mother combed my hair. Page 108 4. We will reach on time. Blank, we go by the car. 5. Your speech cannot be heard by the audience. Blank, you use a powerful mic. 6. It was a beautiful day. Blank. They decided to go for a picnic. 7. We went to the zoo. Blank. We saw many animals. Word fun. 1. Look at the words in the bubbles. Write what you do when you are at a 1. Feast. Blank. 2. Race. Blank. 3. Cricket match. Blank. 4. Cinema. Blank. 5. Fair. Blank. 6. Party. Blank. Sit. Drink. Play. Yell. Dance. Sing. Serve. Run. Enjoy. Buy. Wave. Shout. Ride. Greet. Win. Cheer. Compete. Let's write. How does your father or uncle shave his face every day? He lathers his face with shaving cream. Then he uses his razor. He runs it over his face in even strokes. After this, he washes his face and wipes it to get rid of the lather. Now describe two of the following processes. 1. How to send a letter or email. 2. How to make a salad. 3. How to prepare a garden bed to grow flowers. 4. How to paint a mural or a wall picture.